everyone welcome to jg chem master class guys today we will study the application of cotton effect with respect to ord and cd curves in advanced stoichiometry this topic i am preparing on demand since i have already uploaded long back a video on octant rule and uh, the alpha axial ketone rule so further if you want to clarify your doubts related to the cotton effect this is a video for you so first we will see what is ord curves ord means optical rotatory dispersion curves what is that when you have a plot of molecular rotation with respect to the wavelength it is called ord curves in this curve you don't have any maximum or minimum wavelength a plane curve results and you can see here uh, showing a steady increase of the optical rotation right with the decrease of the wavelength or you can see the decrease of the optical rotation with the decrease of wavelength so here in this form the wavelength is decreasing and on the top of this above zero scale you can see the optical rotation is increasing so this is considered to be as a plane curve ord curve one can use it for the structural investigation of the organic molecule now if the rotation rises sharply to a maximum peak and then quickly drops down to the zero which gives you minimum trough and rises again which gives you s shaped curve that is called the cotton effect curve now we will see whatever we have studied here that rotation sharply rises to a maximum a peak then quickly drops down to a zero and then goes down to a minimum trough and rises again which gives you the s shaped the wave form of the curve this type of ord curve is called the cotton effect curve so you can see here both ways you can have it here so how and we can tell it this is having a positive cotton effect curve or negative cotton effect curve so you can note here when the peak is labeled as positive if it is on the longer wavelength so you can see here this peak is towards the longer wavelength so it is considered to be a positive c curve when you can see the peak here is towards a minimum wavelength so we will consider it as a negative c d curve okay so this point you have to keep in your mind that when it is positive when the wavelength is higher when the wavelength is lower it is considered to be a negative cotton Now, what are the application? Why we are studying this cotton effect curve? So, basically, you can use it for a structural investigation, like to determine the position of functional group in your organic molecule, to find out the configuration of the organic molecule, and to find out the conformation of the molecule. So, first, we will see the example for the position of functional group. Let's say you have a derivative. You can see here. You have three oxo derivative, like two three oxo cholesterone, which exhibit a positive cotton effect, while one oxo and seven oxo derivative which shows a negative cotton effect. So you can see uh, here peak uh, which is defined as a positive peak for three oxo, and for one and seven oxo it is a negative cotton effect curve. So, if it is given that the following molecule gives a positive cotton effect, you can easily eliminate one and seven oxo structure, and you can say it might be two or three oxo cholesterone. So, like this way, you can find out the position of the functional group. Next is determination of configuration. So, we will see here again one example. You can see that. you have the organic molecule which is having alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound and we are doing the reduction reaction either you can use lithium or you are using here hydrogen in the presence of ruthenium so if you do the reaction in the presence of lithium and liquor ammonia then you can see the reduction of the c double bond c occurs and it gives you the between a and b the transposition of the hydrogen while in case of ruthenium hydrogen you get at the between the a and b the position of the hydrogen is cis okay so what is given here information that ab the trans right trans 3 oxo steroid which is a cholestin 3 ohm 
which gives you a positive cotton effect while the second ord curve resembling this uh, three oxo derivative which gives you a negative cotton effect so if the information is given to you the following reduction gives you a positive cotton effect then you can easily draw the confirm the configuration it is given trans if they say that the following molecule on reduction gives a negative cotton effect then you can draw the cis isomer so like this based on the cotton effect you can identify the configuration of the molecule and then we will see the confirmation so we'll take here again one example three methyl cyclohexanone and uh, you can see first the structure this is a structure where we are talking about the r configuration and here we will consider uh, with respect to the octant rule so if you are not familiar of the octant rule i will share the link in this description box you can go through with the video and uh, learn about this rule now you can see here in the confirm non planar conformation methyl which is at three position with respect to carbonyl it can be either at equatorial position or it can be axial position so you have to identify which conformation your molecule exists right so equatorial conformation gives a positive cotton effect okay why why it gives a positive cotton effect that also you can uh, see with respect to the octant rule the diagram uh, is drawn here with respect to octant rule and you can see here on the upper left section the methyl is falling which is the positive sign so we can say the equatorial isomer gives a positive cotton effect while you can see when the methyl is on the axial position the methyl group is falling in the upper right section which is having the negative sign so it gives you the negative cotton effect how to draw these two diagrams that you can learn with my video which i have already uploaded based on octant rule you can learn how to draw it so based on that the equatorial isomer is giving the positive cotton effect while the axial methyl position is giving the negative cotton effect and if the information is given that the ketone shows a positive cotton effect you can say that your molecule conformation is equatorial so like that you can identify the conformation of the molecule and this is how you can use the application of cotton effect to identify the position of functional group to determine the configuration and conformation of the molecule so i hope now you have got an idea about the application of cotton effect the advantages so you can write your feedback in the comment section whether this video is helpful for you and you can also mention on which topic you want me to prepare the next video see you